Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing little MLB The Show 20 here today. It is our Minnesota Twins franchise. We're in season number five. And we're playing games 39 through 41 at home against the Atlanta Braves. Little interleague matchup. We are second in the AL Central. Four games behind the Detroit Tigers. In the matchup with the Braves, we are fifth in baseball in runs scored. They are 27th. We are first in home runs hit. They are dead last at 30th. In stolen bases, we're dead last with only nine. They're 13th with 25. On base percentage, we have the edge there. Over on the pitching side of things, they are 10th in baseball in runs against. They are second in home runs given up. We are 25th. We are first in strikeouts. They are 18th. And in ERA, we are 27th, and they are 19th. So they have the edge pitching-wise. We have the edge offensively in this matchup. All right, the Braves come in at 15 and 21. They send Matt Moore to the hill, former Tampa Bay Ray. He is having a fantastic season, making his ninth start. His ERA is 1.77. He's 5 and 1 on the year. Jose De Leon will face him. He's got a 3.16 ERA, a 0.98 whip, and this is probably the marquee pitching matchup of this series. All right, we get into the first inning. Eddie Rosario at the plate for the Twins. Runners on the corners with one out. A 2-1 delivery from Matt Moore, the lefty. And Rosario lifts this one to straight away center field. Ronald Acuna Jr. is there, makes the catch. Runner tagging at third and coming in to score. That was plenty deep enough for Mario Calero to cross the plate. one to nothing Minnesota at the end of the first inning. We jump out to an early lead. Third inning action. Ender Enciarte at the plate, 272 hitter, no home runs yet, 13 RBIs. Runner on third with two outs, and Jose De Leon gets him to swing at the changeup. Enciarte goes down, middle of the third is still 1-0 Minnesota. We move to the fifth inning. This is Dansby Swanson at the plate. Runner on second with two outs, runner in scoring position here. And a ground ball left side. Nolan Arenado on to first. He could have just tagged the runner heading to third, but he makes the throw. And midway through the baseball game, it's a 1-0 Minnesota lead. The same score that Game 7 of the 1991 World Series was. Nolan Arenado at the plate now. With one out in the sixth, nobody on. Arenado drives it deep to left. That one is heading back towards the track and the corner. And it's going to sneak inside the foul pole for a home run. Nolan Arenado with number nine on the season for him. And that doubles up the Twins' lead. It's now two to nothing in the bottom of the sixth. Mario Calero now. Super Mario. One-two count. Ground ball up the middle. Nice play at short by Dansby Swanson on to first for the out. But Nolan Arenado with a solo home run doubles the Twins' lead. It's 2 to nothing at the end of the 6th. Let's go to the 7th. This is Ed Ramirez, a young star. We're going to look uh, maybe next episode, in the next episode or two, at some of the young players in Major League Baseball who are turning the corner and becoming stars. Ed Ramirez goes down, though, swinging to Jose De Leon, another young star of our own. We stretch in Minneapolis. It's still 2 to nothing. We go to the 8th inning. Dans B. Swanson at the plate again. Jose De Leon still pitching with one out. Runner on first, and Dansby Swanson's going to lift this one towards the left center field gap, and it's going to get out into the bullpen for a two-run home run. And just like that, we've got a new ball game. May have left Jose De Leon in for one pitch too long before going to our... We've got the number one rated bullpen in baseball. we got to trust him. But we're trying to get Jose De Leon a possible complete game shutout, and it blew up in our face. John Gant now coming in for the Braves, facing Jace Peterson in the bottom of the eighth. No outs, nobody on. 3-1 delivery from Gant, and Peterson draws the walk. So the Twins have a base runner aboard in a tie game in the second. We pinch run for Peterson with Herbert De La Rosa. And we pinch hit. For our pitcher with Rymel Tapia. Tapia drives it deep to right. That one's headed back towards the track. And it is gone. Rymel Tapia. A two-run home run. It's number three on the season for Rymel. And a pinch hit home run in the eighth. And the Twins take a 4-2 to two lead in this one. 
Rymel Tapia. We go to the ninth now. Bringing in Kevin Segrist, looking for save number 12. He has 11 saves and 13 save opportunities, a 1.93 ERA. He's facing Rio Ruiz with one out and nobody on. Here's the delivery from Segrist, popped up towards the first base dugout. And uh, Cervelli over there squeezes it for the out. And that's out number two. Now we get Josh Rutledge, the second baseman for the Braves. 0-2 count with two outs. Here's the delivery from Segrist Rutledge. Chopper towards third. It's cut off by Arenado. And Arenado on to first ends the ball game. The Twins are in the win column here in game number one of this three-game series. Final score, 4-2. Dansby Swanson went one for three with a home run and two RBIs for the Braves. Danny Santana, a former twin, went three for four with a double. Josh Rutledge, one for four with a strikeout. For us, Rymel Tapia had the pinch hit home run that scored two runs. Nolan Arenado with a solo home run. Miguel Sano was one for three with a strikeout. And Rymel Tapia is your player of the game. Let's move to the second game of this series, game number 40. Braves at 15 and 22. We are 21 and 18. Aaron Blair, the starter for Atlanta, 4.91 ERA. He's 0-3 on the season, though, making his seventh start, and he's going to go up against Chad Bettis, who's making his eighth start. He has equaled last year's win total, I believe, at 2-1. I think last year he only had two wins. He does have a 6.48 ERA, though, so he's given up some runs so far this year, as he did last year, but just getting some more offensive support. Josh Rutledge at the plate for the Braves. He's going to drive this one down the left field line. That one's headed towards the corner, and it may get up and out, and it does. Solo home run for Josh Rutledge. It's number three for the former Colorado Rocky. And this time, the Braves jump out to an early lead. Of one to nothing in the middle of two. We go to the fourth inning. This is Josh Rutledge again. He has got the bases loaded with one out, a chance to do some serious damage. Bettis ground ball towards second. Jace Peterson on to short, on to first as Wilmer Flores to Calero. And the double play, the pitcher's best friend, gets us out of the inning. Still trailing only one to nothing. Right now, Tapia now in the bottom of the fifth with two outs and nobody on. He homered in yesterday's game. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. As you see the pink bats, it's Mother's Day here in Minneapolis. And Tapia pops this one straight up the chute, and Jared Salta Lamakia makes the catch for the Braves. End of the fifth inning, it's still one to nothing, Atlanta. Sixth inning now. Eddie Rosario, 0 for 2 on the day, has runners at first and second with two outs. And here's the delivery from Blair up the middle, base hit. That one is going to score a run. Around third comes the throw. No. It is cut off. Eddie Rosario with an RBI single ties up the game at one apiece. End of the sixth, eighth inning now. Chase and Shreve on for the Twins. 5.23 ERA note. Last year, Chase and Shreve was a specialist. He faced re only left-handed batters, so the new rule that you have to face three batters in an inning before being uh, pulled from the game has really affected Chase and Shreve as he's not pitching as well against righties. But there he struck out the lefty. And we get to the ninth inning. Mike Fultonavich now. 5.03 ERA. We're all tied up at one. Eddie Rosario at the plate with nobody on and nobody out. 1-1 one, one delivery from Fultonavich. And Rosario is going to deliver a base hit in front of Ronald Acuna. Wilmer Flores at the plate now. Rosario at first, still nobody out, Flores, line drive over the head of the third baseman, drops into left, and the Twins have runners on first and second, the first two batters of the inning reach, off of Mike Fultonavich. Now we've got Herbert De La Rosa coming to the plate, and his job is to bunt him over, but he is not able to get the guy to second, so now we have runners on the corners as he uh, grounds into the fielder's choice on the bunt. Francisco Cervelli at the plate now, with one out. Go ahead, run 90 feet away. Here's the delivery from Fulte. And Cervelli drives this one to center field. That's going to be deep enough to score the run, I believe. Runner tagging, and the throw will come in and be cut off. Relay is pointless. Eddie Rosario comes in 
And the Twins get the walk-off victory. Two to one, Minnesota goes to a 2-0 season series lead over the Braves. Rosario two for four with an RBI. Jared Saltalamacchia was two for three for the Braves. Josh Rutledge two for three with a home run and an RBI. And we are squarely at three games behind the Detroit Tigers for second place in the AL Central. Let's move on to game number three of this series. It's game number 41 on the season. We are looking for the sweep. We still have yet to have a sweep this season. Sonny Gray makes the start for us, 4.25 ERA. He's going to go up against James Getz. And Getz has a 1.29 ERA in just seven innings of work, though, this season. It's just his second start coming up here for the Braves. All right, first inning action. This is Miguel Sano. He's been in a little bit of a quiet stretch, and he might break out of that here. This one's driven towards center field at the track at the wall, and it goes over. Two-run home run for Sano. And when I say he's been in a little bit of a quiet stretch, I mean like two or three games of a quiet stretch is all. So Miguel Sano with a two-run home run, and we get out on the board early. Two to nothing lead at the end of the first. Looking for the sweep. We've been in position to sweep a few series and even gotten off to early leads, but we've blown them. Let's see if we can hold on to this one with our ace on the hill, Sonny Gray. John Singleton swings and misses over the top of the pitch. He goes down middle of the fourth inning. Two to nothing, Minnesota. Sonny Gray dealing early. We go to the sixth inning now. Ender Inciarte, 264 hitter. He's 0 for 2 on the day. He's got a runner in scoring position with two outs. Still facing Sonny Gray. 74th pitch of the night for Gray. Driven to left field. Eddie Rosario going back. Makes the catch at the wall. And that will end the inning. Middle of the six is still two to nothing. Minnesota has the shutout going behind Sonny Gray. John Gant coming in now. Second appearance of this series. 18th appearance on the season. 25 and two-thirds innings. He's facing Tanner English, who we just called up from AAA Rochester. And Tanner English is going to drive one to left, and it's going to get down and over the left fielder's head, who dives and misses. Runner rounding third, heading for the plate. Here comes the throw. The relay is not in time. And Rymel Tapia scores to make it 3 to nothing. Tanner English's first major league hit is a double with an RBI, and he almost ran past Rymel Tapia. He's a speedy little guy. Here is Arenado now. Arenado with a deep drive to left. That one's back at the track. It is well out of here. Another home run for Nolan Arenado, and we jump out to a 5 to nothing lead in the sixth. Arenado into double digits with 10 home runs on the season. And we are looking like we might get that first elusive sweep of the season. It'll feel nice to be five games above 500 if we can hang on here. Felix Jorge now making appearance number three on the year. Runner at first, two outs. And John Singleton drives one towards right. Tanner English is there, makes the catch. And the Twins hold on for the win. We get the sweep. Three games over the Atlanta Braves in this series. All right, with the 5 to nothing win, we win the season series over Atlanta 3 to nothing. Nolan Arenado went 2 for 4 with a home run and a, uh, two RBIs. Miguel Sano 2 for 4 with a home run and two RBIs. Tanner English was 1 for 3 with a double and an RBI. For us, Sonny Gray went seven innings, given up three hits, had ten strikeouts, no walks, and gave up no runs in the shutout, obviously. All right, let's look at the standings as we close down this episode. The Yankees, the Tigers, the Angels, your leaders of the divisions. We would be wild card number one at 23 and 18. The Red Sox would be wild card number two at 23 and 19. The Rangers are behind them, followed by the A's and the Blue Jays. So we are uh, looking pretty good, sitting pretty at this point of the season. Obviously, still way early. Let's look at the National League. The Nationals have uh, jumped out to a nine-game lead over the Phillies, a 10-game lead over the Mets. The Braves are dead last in the East at 15-25. and 25. Uh, The Cubs, 26-15, and 15, lead the Central by three games. The Reds and the Cardinals are both tied for wild card number two. The Dodgers lead the Giants by two and a half out West, and the Giants 
would be the wild card number one if the uh, season were to end today. All right, that's it for Minnesota Twins franchise episode number 238 here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.